Good afternoon guys, I'm just going to show you how I prepare mullet fillets for my next fishing trip chasing brim and flathead and also jewfish and what parts of the fish you can use to catch crabs um, also jewies off the beach um, so yeah stay tuned and I'll show you how to scale fillet these fish um, and make them ready prepare them for your next fishing trip well first things first you gotta grab the fish and start scaling scale the whole fish you don't want to leave scales on the skin you want to get rid of those scales Once the fish has been scaled, rinse it off lightly, get rid of all that scale, and then we're going to start filleting. Now how I like to fillet these um, is just to cut them behind the fins here, straight down. And you've got to have a sharp knife to do this. Just be careful so you don't cut yourself. And then you remove the head put it in a different bag grab all these guts as well because they're great for burley and then we put our edge of our knife here as so if you can see and then we just happily Oh, what I also forgot to mention too guys, make sure that you cut underneath the body so it's easier to fill it. And then we just proceed on cutting through along the backbone. Keep the blade at 45 degree angle so you're flush with the spine. And that's a nice fillet right there. Proceed again the same way along the backbone. And these fish frames, or the mullet frames, they're also great to catch blue swimmer crabs and mud crabs as well. Once you've, once you've finished filleting, slightly wash it off, and there you have it guys, a nice slab of mullet that you can use for your next fishing trip, and brim, flathead, jewfish, absolutely love these. Now what I tend to do also is, I like to put them in a plastic container, and I'll put so much salt on the flesh of these fillets and I'll put them in the fridge to sit there for a good two to three days. Um, what that generally does is it hardens the flesh, stays longer on the hook and also all the omega-3 and all that oil in this fillet is going to come out which is going to attract um, the fish even more and I've caught so much flathead, um, in some days I've caught a lot more flathead um, on mullet strips uh, that was soaked in its own oil um, than live potty mullet. So yeah, hope you've um, learnt something today and if you've got any questions, please feel free to let me know. Bye. And that's the job done. I filleted all my mullet. Now I'm going to put them in bags and leave them in the freezer. I'll put four fillets in each Ziploc bag and when I want to go fishing, I take it out of the freezer, I let it thaw out and then I put it in a plastic container, put a lot of salt on the flesh, leave it in the fridge, not the freezer for a couple of days, and then head out fishing, and this will be gun bait. Um, also for people who like chasing jewies, you can use the whole fillets like these off the surf, and not to mention the fish heads and the frames if you wanna catch blue swimmer crabs and mud crabs. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little video. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. See you later.